Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Joe Flash, and ladies and gentlemen, excuse me, I'm sorry for burping. It's just that I got done drinking and eating a bunch of a little bit of snacks before I got into this video. But anyway, this is the final reaction video to the Mortal Kombat character franchise. So, over the, I've done quite a few voice comparison reaction videos on my channel. I've done, uh, Two Marvel characters, I did Spider-Man twice, I did Captain America, and then I did Sonic the Hedgehog franchise characters, Mario franchise characters, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle char franchise characters, and now I'm almost about to be finished with the Mortal Kombat franchise characters now. There is only one more character left to do in the Mortal Kombat franchise, and then I'm done reacting to all the voice comparison reaction video all the voice comparison videos from both Generation West and Behemoth 89's respective YouTube channels. So the final one is on Generation West's channel, and you probably may have already guessed who it is before I, but before I show you who it is, uh, to let you know that if I'm going to be still continuing voice comparisons after this, I probably might or might not, I don't really know, honestly, because even though I would love to do Marvel and DC, but the problem is there is way too many heroes and villains on both respective hero brands, so I don't know if I'll be able to do Marvel or DC, because there are just ways, just too many heroes and villains in both of their their respective brands, you know, so I'll have to think about it, but anyway, the final Mortal Kombat character of the Mortal Kombat franchise voice comparison videos for reaction, so I just can't believe I'm almost done, this is the last one, ladies and gentlemen, before I'm done. I've checked out a lot of characters ever since I started it after I finished the Spider-Man friend or foe for the Wii gameplay replay videos, gameplay series, and then now... I'm almost done with all the Mortal Kombat franchise characters. I just don't know what to say. But anyway, the last character that I'll be doing for the Mortal Kombat franchise character voice comparison reactions to is none other than another character who made her debut in Mortal Kombat X is none other than the one and only daughter of Jax Briggs herself. It is Jackie Briggs. So the daughter of Jax Briggs. Jackie Briggs made her first appearance in Mortal Kombat X and even reappeared in Mortal Kombat 11 and has kind of proven to herself to be quite a pretty cool character. She's still got a lot to learn, you know, but she's actually proven herself to be a pretty awesome character, you know, for being the daughter of Jax and much more. But Jackie Briggs is pretty cool. I will give her that much. She's a pretty cool character. She's got some cool moves, you know, her fatalities were all right in Mortal Kombat X, you know. And, uh, she, even her fatalities are not even bad in Mortal Kombat 11 either, you know? She proves herself to be quite the character, so... I really don't mind Jack Jackie Briggs at all. Jackie's really cool, you know? Uh, just like Cassie Cage, she actually has a full name. Uh, Cassie Cage's full name was Cassandra Cage, but everybody calls her Cassie. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and Jackie Briggs' full name is Jacqueline Briggs, which, that makes sense, you know? So it's Jacqueline, but everybody calls her Jackie. So anyway, I don't know what to say, because there's really not much else for me to say other than for what I just said about Jackie Briggs, so I think out of respect, I think I'm just going to go ahead and just get into it, because this is the last Mortal Kombat franchise character that I'll be checking out before I'm uh, finished with everybody. So be sure to give this a big thumbs up for this being the last character of the Mortal Kombat franchise, ladies and gentlemen. I know some of you probably think that maybe Jackie wasn't probably maybe the best choice for being the last Mortal Kombat character to do, but... It's alright, it really does not matter, you know. I could It could have been somebody else, but... At the same time, when I was doing the Mortal Kombat franchise characters, I was kind of wanting to do characters in the respective orders that they joined the the series from as I could, but then I did mix it up a little bit, so I didn't care much anymore after then. But, you know. I really just can't say from after what I just said. I think Jackie Briggs as well also has arms like her father. I mean, they're not really cybernetic arms, but they kind of use almost somewhat of similar properties that her father had. Because, you know, Jax, of course, is well known for those arms that he has because he he had it because he lost them. So, you know, it, it kept him alive and kept him from being able to still, you know, do stuff, you know. So I think even Jax, uh, Jackie has her own kind of versions of the arms as well, I think. But, you know, I really just can't say anything else much, you know. For Jackie just barely has, has barely just made her debut in Mortal Kombat. You know, she's only been around for a few years now. So, you know, she... Well, she first appeared in Mortal Kombat X in 2015, so she's been around for, I say about seven years now, I think, seven years. 
Yeah, I think seven years ought to do it, but, you know, she's still considered new, you know what I mean? She's still kind of a newer character, you know, but Jackie Briggs is pretty cool overall, so I really just can't say anything hatred towards her, because she's proven herself to be quite a character, you know? But anyway, I don't really have much else to say, so without further ado, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get right into it, shall we? So let's get the final Mortal Kombat character out of the way, and finish up with all the Mortal Kombat franchise characters and be done with them, probably forever, you know? So let's just do it, shall we? No more talk. I'm ready to get this over with. So, <sighs> excuse me, allergy season. So like John Cena and Triple H, will we say you're... I said Triple A again. I mean, I'm trying to say Triple H, but sometimes it sounds like I'm saying Triple A. It's like I'm saying the letter A instead of the letter H. So let me try that again. Like John Cena and Triple H, will always say... Your time is up, my time is now, it's time to play the game. So let's go ahead and get into it, shall we? The final Mortal Kombat franchise voice comparison reaction video, being Jackie Briggs. So let's do it, y'all. I know for a fact it's only going to be two women as well, according to the thumbnail, and because, you know, I only know that Jackie's only appeared in two Mortal Kombat games. But let's just see where I go between both ladies who voiced her, though. So let's do it, y'all. Let's get right into it. No more wasting any more time. Jackie Briggs. Voice comparison in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Oh, missed it. Hold on. Let's go. Wow, this is the last reaction video to a Mortal Kombat character voice comparison, and I missed the, the button. Never mind. Comparing the voices of Jackie Briggs, Jacqueline Briggs. If you know my father, you know me. Thought you would yes. You know I can't go wrong with Jackie Briggs' debut in Mortal Kombat X. You know, Mortal Kombat X in 2015 was where she made her official debut. She was one of the newer Mortal Kombat combatants. You know, they showed in the Mortal Kombat X story mode that she was a newer Mortal Kombat combatant. Uh, years progressed by, and you know, Johnny Cage and Sonya Blade were in love, but then they divorced a bit. And Johnny Cage formed his own group of Earthrealmers to defend which were like a young generation of Mortal Kombat combatants, which included his daughter, Cassie Cage, along with Jackie Briggs, Jax's daughter, and Kung Jin, and Takeda, who serves the Shiraiyu like Scorpion. I can't remember who Kung Jin serves. I'm probably thinking... I'm thinking maybe... Kung Lao or something, just because of his name, but I could be wrong. He's a Shaolin, so yeah, you know what, I think he does serve Kung Lao, because he's a Shaolin, so I think Kung Jin is a sh is probably a representative of Kung Lao. I could be wrong, but considering he's a Shaolin, I think that might be right, but never mind. So Jackie Briggs, you know, actually I forgot to mention at the beginning of this video, when I did Cassie Cage in my last video, I kind of actually mentioned Jackie Briggs' name in that one, because I mentioned that in Mortal Kombat X story mode, you know, years progressed and Johnny Cage formed his own Earthrealm combatants, which were like a young generation, which formed Cassie Cage, Jackie Briggs, Takeda, and Kung Jin. Because the fact that I said Jackie Briggs' name in my last video with Cassie Cage voice comparison reaction video, I kind of gave a little bit of a clue that Jackie was going to be the, the last character that I was going to do a Mortal Kombat voice comparison reaction video to. So, if y'all thought I was going to do Jackie for the last video, good job. But if you didn't think of it, that's alright, you know. But I was kind of hoping that me mentioning Jackie Briggs' name in the last video with Cassie Cage, hope that it gave a little bit of a clue to let y'all know that I was going to do Jackie Briggs next and for the final Mortal Kombat character franchise, you know. But anyway, there's not much left to be said, but... Pretty interesting stuff, you know, Cassie Cage and Jackie Briggs, they have some pretty kind of cool interactions with each other, you know, some pretty crazy interactions whenever you have them fight each other and they got some pretty interesting intro dialogues and, you know, uh, Jackie Briggs even falls in love with someone, you know, it's, it's, uh, Takeda, the, uh, Takeda and Jackie Briggs actually start dating at the end of the Mortal Kombat X story mode as well. Forgery Takeda is not in Mortal Kombat 11 though, but... Jackie Briggs, sometimes in some of the intro dialogue in the games, you know, he does, they do mention Takeda's name, you know, and all that. So it's pretty cool, you know. I don't know what happened to Takeda and Kun Jin, but it's all right. But yeah, Takeda, uh, Takeda and Jackie Briggs, quite the couple, you know. But it'd be, it'd be interesting to see if they were to continue that, that love ship in the near future if they bring him back, but you know. But Jackie Briggs, as I said, pretty awesome character, as I already mentioned. You know, she's still new, but, you know, she's proven to be quite the character. So, of course, as I said, I can't go wrong with her debut in Mortal Kombat X in 2015. So, double thumbs up to Danielle Nic Nicolet 
for being, you know, for doing her voice job, you know. Danielle Nicolet was the first voice actress for Jackie Briggs, so can't go wrong with it. And as I've said from time and time again, and I'll even say it one more time for this video, anything from Mortal Kombat 9, X, or 11, gotta get props to because those games were fantastic, so of course, you know. So, yep, double thumbs up without a doubt for Danielle Nicolet from Mortal Kombat X, Jackie Briggs, without a doubt. So what you guys think? Is that gonna kill us? He was just a bit over the top. When I joined SF, Mr. Cage insisted on being the one to tell my dad. He thought it'd go smoother. You heard him? You answered me. No more tricks. Just a straight up beat down. Two for one. I'll take it. Shinnok's been freed. He's at Raiden's Sky Temple. He's already infected Earthrealm's life force. You need to help us, Kotal Khan. Don't know about you guys, but I'm living the dream. <laughs> okay. And, yes. Cassie told you that... Double thumbs up to... I was trying to... I just wanted to see her name. But double thumbs up to Megalyn... Megalyn... Uh, jeez, I can't even pronounce that last name, but Megalyn. Double thumbs up to her performance as Jackie Briggs in Mortal Kombat 11 in 2019 as well. It's kind of crazy how Jackie Briggs' design really changed a bit in this game, you know? I mean, this game has more of, like, you know, Mortal Kombat 11 kind of looks more realistic than Mortal Kombat X, but it's even crazy how even Jackie Briggs got her design changed, too, you know? I remember when I reacted to the Jax voice comparison reaction video, I mentioned how Jax's face design was kind of changed in Mortal Kombat 11 compared to his previous counterpart in Mortal Kombat X, so apparently they did the same for Jackie Briggs as well. They changed her face design and a little in her hair style and everything in Mortal Kombat 11 compared to her previous counterpart in Mortal Kombat X. I mean, even she looks good in Mortal Kombat 11, you know, it's her outfit's pretty cool, you know, she looks pretty good, and even Megalyn's voice, Megalyn's voice is pretty good in this game as well, but, you know... Personally, kind of similar to what I said with Cassie Cage in the last video, and pretty much similar to what I said with Jack, with Jackie Briggs' father, Jax Briggs, I'm pretty much going to say the same thing here, you know? Because I because I remember when I was reacting to Jack's, you know, voice compares reaction video, I did mention that I kind of pre preferred his Mortal Kombat X design more than his newer Mortal Kombat 11, because it just made him look like a different character, and I just wasn't really a big fan of it, you know? I mean, he look, I mean, Jax looks good in Mortal Kombat 11, too, but I think I just like it better in the Mortal Kombat X. I'm not as big of a fan of his Mortal Kombat 11, you know, design. But here, so I'm pretty much going to say the same thing, you know, pretty much similar to with his daughter, Jackie. I'm not really as big of a fan of Jackie's design in Mortal Kombat 11 either. So, you know, I just have to say it. So similar to what I said about Jackie's father, Jax, I just have to say it. Not as big of a fan of the design for Jackie Briggs in Mortal Kombat 11 compared to Mortal Kombat X. I kind I prefer her better in Mortal Kombat X. I like that design better than here in Mortal Kombat 11. It's not that she doesn't look bad. It's not that she looks ugly enough. And don't think that. It's not like that at all. It's just, you know, she looks, like I said, she looks good here as well, you know. It's just, you know, personally, I just like the X design a little better than 11. I'm just not as big of a fan of it. But that doesn't mean I don't like the design for Jackie Briggs here in this game. It's just... I just prefer it better in X, because like I said, overall, the design still looks good even in Mortal Kombat 11, and even with the different voice actors was pretty good too, you know? She's got, uh, you know, her new hairstyle was pretty cool, you know, the design was actually, you know, made her look like a little bit of a different character, but it is still her, you know? It kind of actually makes her look older, in my opinion, honestly, if you think about it. Jackie Briggs actually looks a little older in Mortal Kombat 11, you know? I don't know if she's the same age as she was in Mortal Kombat X, I could be wrong. Maybe she did grow a little bit, I, th I don't know. I don't know, did they grow a little bit? Did did her and Cassie Cage grow a little bit in Mortal Kombat 11 than, than compared to Mortal Kombat X? Let me know in the comments down below, because if I'm now thinking about it, I just just think that with Jackie Briggs' design in Mortal Kombat 11, it makes her look a little older, you know, like she grew a little bit than compared to Mortal Kombat X, but I could be wrong, you know? But still, overall, she looks good in this game, but as I said, I just prefer her better in Mortal Kombat X, so... It's kind of crazy how I'm saying the same thing about Jackie Briggs and, like I said, about her dad... Jax, you know, so even with Jax, you know, I said the same thing as well. I wasn't as big of a fan of the, of the design in Mortal Kombat 11 and like it better in Mortal Kombat X. I have to say the same thing here for Jackie as well. I prefer her better in Mortal Kombat X and in 11, but still overall, the design's not bad and, you know, she's a pretty cool character either way, so, you know, it doesn't even really matter how the design looks, but, you know, if y'all were just to ask me which one I like better, I would just say Mortal Kombat X, you know, because... Some of you probably might end up asking me, Jonah, what's, or Joe Flash, what's your favorite design for 
Jackie Briggs. Do you like Mortal Kombat X Jackie better, or do you like Mortal Kombat 11? Personally, me, I just, I like Mortal Kombat X Jackie Briggs better, but there you go. But as I said, it didn't matter, but overall, Megalyn did okay. She did a pretty awesome job as well, so of course, double thumbs up to her performance as Jackie Briggs here in Mortal Kombat 11 as well. Future you. Spent time as a revenant, yeah? The experience haunted Dad. But then he, you, met Mom. She brought you back to life. I'll take the speed for you. We buried you in the nether realm. You a glutton for punishment? Think that hurt? You have no idea. I hear past you deserves respect. But this version? Not so much. You're not rewriting history. Who's writing history now? <laughs> Alright. Like I said, pretty cool stuff. Now, as I said, I, uh... I do, even though I do like Jackie Briggs' design, better, design a little better in Mortal Kombat X, I'll still get props to Mortal Kombat 11 as well, you know. But anyway, so... Pretty much I'll say the same thing, you know. Pretty much in my last video I said the same about Cassie Cage, although I said it a little bit differently, but, you know... With Cassie Cage in my last video, I didn't really, I couldn't really choose a favorite between both ladies that voiced her because they were both good. So, out of respect, I'm fortunately, I'm unfortunately gonna, I'm gonna have to give it to both ladies here and and as Jackie Briggs because they're both great. Both, uh, both Danielle, Nicola, and Megalyn, however you say her last name, they're both great. So, I can't really choose a favorite between both of their voices because they both have good voices for Jackie Briggs, so it's both of them. I really can't choose a favorite. I give respect to both ladies, so it's both of them. So, that's my honest opinion, y'all. There's really just no favorite between them both. Both Danielle, Nicola, and Megalyn, however you say her last name, just both did a great job as Jackie Briggs, so they're both my favorites. Well, even though I don't really have a favorite, but you know. They're both up there as Jack's Brig uh, Jackie Briggs, because... I just can't choose between them both, because they're both great overall, you know, so that's my honest opinion, ladies and gentlemen, but now y'all leave a comment down below in the video now, let me know who you love as Jackie Briggs, and don't forget to share it with all your friends as well, maybe you might agree with me, maybe you like both ladies as Jackie Briggs as well, or maybe there's one you like better than the other, so do that as well, and if you also like, leave a comment down below letting me know who do you think could actually play Jackie Briggs if they decide to make her appear in a live-action Mortal Kombat sequel. I don't know if that'll ever happen, but if they were to decide to put Jackie Briggs in live-action Mortal Kombat sequel, who do you think could play her? Leave a comment down below, let me know on that as well. But anyway, that was it, ladies and gentlemen. That was the final Mortal Kombat character to do for Mortal Kombat character voice comparison reaction videos. Jackie Briggs was the last one, so... That is it, ladies and gentlemen. There are no more Mortal Kombat characters to do for voice comparison reaction videos. She was the last one, so another another franchise of characters in the video game has been completed. I've done Mario, I done Sonic the Hedgehog, I've done Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and now I just finished Mortal Kombat, so that is it, ladies and gentlemen, for all the Mortal Kombat characters. I'm, it's just crazy. I've been reacting to this many voice comparison reaction videos, and yet I've been doing different franchise characters as well from video games and all, and I've done them all, you know, in every category, you know what I'm saying? So it's really cool to see how much I've been doing, you know, how many voice comparison reaction videos I've done. I don't know if I'll do any more in the future. I want to hope so, but I'm just seriously doubting it because at this point, there's really no other franchise char uh, characters from video games I can think of other than Marvel and DC, but there's way too many heroes and villains in their respective brands. I just don't know if I'd be able to do them all, you know, but it's okay, you know, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. I think I better go ahead and just take another break, you know, I'll probably just chill for the rest of the day now because there's really nothing else left for me to do, so I'm just going to chill, I'm just going to relax, maybe take a drink, probably put the air conditioner back on, so... Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. I hope you enjoyed all the Mortal Kombat character voice comparison reaction videos I've done. Or if you haven't even seen any of my previous Mortal Kombat character voice comparison reaction videos, or even any of my voice comparison reaction videos, period, go check it out on my channel. I've all, I have a playlist of all the voice comparison reaction videos I've done over the years since I started doing it. So go check it out, if you don't mind, because it's been pretty cool. I've only done it since 2019, but it's been off to a pretty cool start, you know, so... Go check out my playlist on my channel of me doing all the voice comparison reaction videos that I've done if you want to see all of them. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up, ladies and gentlemen. I'm out of here. Hopefully I'll be back with some more videos soon. I don't know because as I said, with me having two copyright strikes on my channel, I ain't going to be able to post as much videos as I used to. But 
I will eventually, you know, post some more when I get a chance. And I will eventually even... <clears throat> I will even post an update video on this channel when I let you know when I created my new YouTube channel. Because as I said, now that I got my own Gmail account, I do plan on making a new YouTube channel uh, with my Gmail account. So that way my YouTube career could stay alive in case this channel comes to an end in the future. Because obviously if I get one more copyright strike, <clears throat> this channel is going to get taken down, you know? Or disabled, whatever you want to call it. So I'll let you know when that happens because I do plan on posting an update video to let y'all know about my secondary YouTube channel or what will become my new main channel in case this channel gets taken down in the future. It'll be my backup channel and it'll become my new channel when this channel gets taken down in the future because I guarantee this channel is probably not going to last any longer with me receiving two copyright strikes and if I get one more it's disabled. So, And with me already having so many copyright claims on a lot of my videos, I just don't think this channel is going to be able to last longer. But... I will make a new YouTube channel when I get the chance, so that way I can keep my YouTube legacy alive. And who knows, even maybe before this channel ends, maybe I might go back and forth posting videos on this channel and even on my new channel when it's ready. But stay tuned when that happens, because I will post the, a vlog about it, letting y'all know when the new channel is up. So I'll be ready for that, and y'all be ready for that too, so you'll know what my new channel name is. So you can go subscribe, hit the notification bell, and even be prepared for when I upload my first video on that channel as well. So anyway, guys, I'm out of here. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoy this as much as I did. It was really good looking back at all the Mortal Kombat voice actors, you know, just like I've done for all the other character franchises of, like, Ninja Turtles, Mario, and Sonic, and all that. But I'm going to go ahead and get the heck out of here. I better go take a chill pill, so. Hopefully I'll be back with another video real soon. I don't know when, but I'll be sure to let y'all know when the new channel comes up, and if I ever maybe do have any ideas for more videos, I don't know. We'll see. Because it's really not going to be easy for me posting on my channel much anymore now that, unfortunately, with me receiving two copyright strikes, I just don't want to get a third one. So, it's really difficult. It really is. But I will do my best, ladies and gentlemen, and I hope you wish me the best of luck. Because my YouTube legacy is not over yet. As I said, with my new YouTube channel, when it's finished and created, it'll, you know, save my career, you know. Because I'm not ready to quit on YouTube yet, so... My new channel, whenever that comes up, it'll help keep my legacy alive, you know. The Joe Flash legacy will still live. Because I ain't ready to quit on YouTube, and I ain't ready to quit on being Joe Flash 6.7 either. So, <clears throat> stay tuned for when that video comes out. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm losing my voice. I've been talking a lot, but <clears throat> I'll be okay. I better go ahead and just get out of here. I better get a drink, so. See y'all next time. When the new, when the next video comes out real soon. I, I don't know if I'll say real soon, but it should hopefully not come out too it should hopefully come out sooner than you think i mean i don't know we'll see but whenever i come back with another video just stay subscribed stay the note keep the notification bell on stay tuned for whenever the next video comes out one day i don't know when but whenever i upload another video just stay tuned and stay subscribed so that way you don't miss it so <clears throat> i'm out of here i'm done talking so y'all have a good day That'll be it for today, guys. If you like this video, give a thumbs up. Dislike to give a thumbs down. Join me next time for the next video. To all you boys, men, and guys out there. Fist bumps good to all of you. To all the girls, ladies, and women out there. Kisses go out to all of you. But until then, this is Joe Flash signing off. And have a good day.